All right, guys, we're here talking about the strength of acids and bases. So you'll recall that the definition of an acid, if we're talking about the Arrhenius definition, is that it donates protons to solution, right, in H+. And um, if we're talking about a base, it produces hydroxide ions, or OH minuses, in solution. All right, so basically the definition then of a strong acid or a strong base is that they completely ionize in solution. And if you have a weak acid or a weak base, they partially ionize in solution. So right now I'm going to kind of get more into the strong acid, strong base situation and discuss what it means for something to completely ionize in solution as dealing with weak acids and weak bases where there's only a partial dissociation is pretty complicated and not specific to this section. So what does it mean for something to completely ionize in solution? Okay, so not to get tripped up, you know what an ion is. It means that something is breaking into its partial positive components and negatively charged components. So here, HCl, hydrochloric acid, is an example of a common strong acid. So HCl aqueous would completely dissociate into an H plus, so an ion, um, a proton, and um, a chlorine ion, right? So you have a plus and a minus for an overall net zero charge. Okay, so an example of a strong acid where you have complete dissociation of HCl into H plus and Cl minus. Similarly, if we have a strong base, a common strong base is sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Aqueous would break up into its components, positive sodium plus ion and a negatively charged chlorine ion. And that's an example of a strong base. So now you know what it means for something to completely ionize in solution. So if we have a strong acid and a strong base, what happens if we mix them together? Well, you'll get this idea of something that's called neutralization, right? So basically, they cancel each other out. So meaning that the products have none of the characteristics of either the acidic solution or the basic solution. So when we get into talking about pH, if we're talking about HCl, which you can find in your stomach acid, has a pH of about one um, versus sodium hydroxide, which has a much higher um, pH because it's basic. If something's neutral, that means it's pH seven, and that's how we know something is neutral. So here again, um, let's just look at the actual equation of mixing a strong acid and a strong base. So we have HCl, our strong acid, and sodium hydroxide, our strong base, which if we put together in the same vat would give us water, right? Because we know from our previous um, conversation about acid-base reactions that water is the forward, I'm sorry, is the driving force of an acid-base reaction, the formation of water. And we would also get formation of a salt. Okay, so we know what water is. Now we know what a strong base and strong acid are. So let's quickly just discuss what it means for something to be a salt. Okay, so salt, sodium chloride, table salt, the stuff you put on your food, with which we are very familiar. Um, it just means that it's an ionic compound that has a positively charged ion and a negatively charged ion, right? So within sodium chloride, um, the cation, which is the sodium that comes from a base, and the anion part comes from an acid.